Let's have a look, everyone. So, I will point out the first one. We actually have a correct answer for, I believe, a different question. So, I'm going to ask someone to shout out what they and with a hand up. What's their answer for number one? Someone open it up. Christian. 4,318. and? Hands up if you agree. What do you think? Okay, thank you. Hands down. Um, by the way, how did I know? Because I was looking at this 4,699 and I thought, that's in about the right ballpark. How do you know without touching a pencil that something's gone wrong? How do we know that that's actually the answer to a different question? Yeah, Nicole. Because 4 times 7 equals 28. Okay, so if you just think about something really simple, right? You're at 4 and 7 there. That's where you're going to get the units from, isn't it? The 8, right? So I know I'm going to end on an 8, whatever the rest of it is going to be. Another way you can know is uh, 34 is an even number, right? It's an even number. You multiply anything by an even number, if it's whole, and you're going to get another up even number at the other end, yeah? These are little things you can do so you can make sure, okay, did I get the right answer or not? You can check them, okay? All right. People happy with this one? You could check if you multiply by 37 if you do get that. I'm reasonably confident. Ends in nine, which I definitely should. Uh, number two, hands up if you think 31 remaining two looks good. Hands up, hands up straight. Ooh, I have a much smaller number of hands up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll ask you to raise your hand if you did that question and you felt confident with it. Hands up straight. Hands up straight. Yeah, about the same number. Okay, hands down. What I want you to do with your pen there is let's walk through how we're going to do this long division because long division is a skill we looked at a while ago maybe you've forgotten that's okay 16 500 someone give me a suggestion for what their first very first thing that they put on the page will be any suggestions real yeah i'm going to put a zero right at the front what does that zero signify what's it about yeah turn Very good. I can't fit any 16s into 5, and so I put that 0 down to mean that. You guys know, we don't just go through these steps for any random reason or because that's the steps that we go through. We want to know what every part of it means. Okay, what's going to happen next? Someone else who hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, Nigga, what would you put down? Okay, how many times do 16? Go into 50. And a 16 times tables, not that common, but do you think, yeah, Nigga, what would you put there? Three, very good. Because you can go 16, 32, what's the next one? 48, 48 and then you know you're not going to fit in anymore. Okay? So 48, I'm going to write down here, three 16s. Now what? Now what? Yeah, Nikhil? Okay, I'm going to subtract, which gives me? Two. We're doing well this morning. Good job, guys. Long weekend. I'm almost there at the end, Maria. What am I going to do next? Okay, because just like at the start, no more 16s fit into our number, 2, I need to bring in 0 to increase the size of my number there, yeah. Okay? Now what? What do I do here? Aiden? Um, I'm put the one that I'm sorry. You put a 1 above the other zero. Okay, wait, hold on. Where? Above the other um, sorry. You mean here? Above yeah, here? Yeah. yeah, okay. And what does that 1 signify? Any takers? Hmm. Daniel, can you tell me what that one's about? <coughs> it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah, Ranesh, do you want to help him out? Yeah, very good. Like each time I'm asking, how many times do I fit it in? How many times do I fit it in? That's what division is all about, right? And it fits in once. Okay, I'm pretty much there, aren't I? What am I going to do now? Yeah, Twin? One by 16 gives you 16. Okay, so you can see. I was very close. We, pretty much, we got the important bit, didn't we? Sort of. That we know we can fit in 31 times. And it's just that little bit at the end. But well done. Okay. This last bit here. What do you guys think of our answer here? X equals 67. Who's happy with that? Hands up. <coughs> yep. Yeah, cool. Well done. I'm going to add in. I think we should include one extra thing. When it says giving reasons, I think this is the beginning. This is the beginning of our reason. But I'd love to have another thing on the end of the reason. Come into your angles. What? Okay. Yeah, Aiden. Um, a supplementary on the parallel line. Very good. I guess that's two more things. And if you had your reasons there, I'd love you to finish that off with me. Because it's important we have all of those pieces there. Um, current area angles are supplementary on parallel lines. You really need all three of them, don't you? You need to know their current area, how they relate to each other. You want to know they're supplementary. They're not equal. That's an easy mistake to make. 
And none of this matters if the lines aren't parallel. They don't have any names. I haven't called them A, B, or C, D, or anything like that. So we just state it. 